up guys, Dustin you here, back with some more NHL 13 be a jam mode, number two with the Edmonton Oilers, woo, and uh, we're 32-16-2, and we're at the All-Star game, and a lot of people got upset that I traded Taylor Hall for Ovechkin, I probably shouldn't have thrown in a first, but I, like, I cut it out, but I literally sat there for like five to seven minutes, and tried tons of different draft picks and stuff, and I literally just couldn't get anything, like I couldn't get Washington to budge, so I was just like, you know what, I don't want to sit here and waste so much time, and I'd already wasted so much time, so I just traded him. Um, and basically, so I'm just going to show you guys how good Taylor Hall is doing right now, because I'm not even sure. <clears throat> when we traded him, he had like 25 games and 15 points or something. Like, he was not doing good. Like, a lot, that whole line wasn't doing well. So, let's do a little, uh, we'll show you the difference. So, right now, Ovechkin... Played 51 games. He has 54 points, 27 goals, 27 assists. Okay. Um, so let's go to Washington and let's see how Taylor Hall is doing. Oh, that's Winnipeg, Washington. Oh, Washington. Taylor Hall, 16 goals, 22 assists, 38 points in 50 games. So he has picked it up a little bit, but he's still not doing anywhere near what. Uh, Ovechkin's doing. Ovechkin's over a point a game. So, you know what? I, You guys can hate on it, but for a guy who's only getting like points in 80% in of his games, I'm not really going to be upset about it. And when I got Ovechkin, everyone else's input, like production and stuff, went up as well. So, I mean, I have three guys that are over a point a game right now. That's just, that's like, I've never seen that before on my team ever. So, I mean, that's just gross. Like, we got Nuge, Ovechkin, and Yakupov all over a point a game. Like, that's insane. I mean, Gaunce is, like, three points behind a point a game. That's ridiculous. Like, we almost have four guys that are a point a game. And if that's not good, I don't know what to say about that. So, uh, we also changed Palazes into the net. And I think he's played one game. Yeah, he played this game right here, I think. But anyways, we're at the All-Star game, so I'm going to go into there. And then we'll sim up to the trade deadline. The trade deadline. Yes, stop the simulation. All right, so we'll look at the east first because we're on the west. So Conacher, Crosby, Panic, Ruck, Tavares, Stewart, Fleischman, Backstrom, Skinner, uh, Lindbergh, Shifley, Barkov, Andy, Bufflin, Hamilton, Bertilson, Murphy, Berglund, Sessi, and on uh, net they got Price and Pankhurst. I don't know who Pankhurst is. I've never heard of that name before. <clears throat> On our team, we got Ovechkin, Stavko, Shinkrook, Parise, Getzlaff, Salamaki, Kemp, Granlin, Gallimore, uh, Yaskin, Jensen, and Brown. On D, we got Runeblad and Pollock, Goligoski, Letty, Weidman, and Vishnewski. So we've got uh, two players. We got Pollock. And Ovechkin, and in net we got oh did I pass goalies Vizantine and Gibson. So we didn't get we didn't get Palaces in there. He, I don't think he's played enough games to like qualify or whatever. Um, I mean he's not doing bad, but so yeah we got um, oh my voice is all funny there. Uh, <laughs> we have Ovechkin and Polak in there, so that's pretty good. And we'll just sim through here. <laughs> Alright. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Let's go, blue all stars. Yes, that goes. On Pankhurst. I thought he was a backup. Barkov on Gibson. Second period. Come on, blue. Oh, it's theirs. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh. Blue, blue, blue. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. come on, Blue. You got that. Wow, we're getting outshot bad. Come on, Blue. Come on, Ovechkin. Come on, Ovechkin. No, nothing. Nothing. It's over. It's over. It's over. 2 1 loss. The East takes it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. <sighs> I know I say it a lot, but they should really add, like, a player draft. That'd be so cool. That'd be super cool. Like if you're if one of your players got picked as captain, you get you get to do like the player draft or whatever, <clears throat> and then I guess basically we just like pick the players in order of overall or something. Anyways, uh, so Palazes played one game. 
So yeah, whatever. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I think the all the oh wow, okay, never mind. So we'll go up to here. We'll just do ten games, whatever. We're at fifty, so we'll do ten games, and we'll switch the players back. Switch the lines back. Because we just switched them, so. I think I got a game confused or something. Uh, the other thing was, I don't know, some... I'm just going to say it was a really bad comment about me putting first-line players on second line. But if, again, if you w have watched the past three years of my GM, um, I've basically made two lines of first players out of, you know, like having second-line players and drafting pl players. And that was just simply by rotating them. And it was just an experiment I wanted to try, and it ended up working. Um, so basically, I've been rotating players uh, first and second line every year. So they all get playing time on the first line for half the year. And it's it, it's made all my players better. None of them have gotten worse. So if you didn't understand that, that's exactly what I was doing. So I don't know. Or maybe it was just a bad comment just for the sake of it. I have no idea. Whatever, not a big deal. All right, so thirty-three, sixteen, and two. Good start after the break. Big win over the Vancouver Canucks. All right. Holy simulation! Let's go. Dallas Stars, big win. Come on, guys, big win, big win. Jamie Ben, twenty-two goals. Goligoski, twenty-seven assists. Not bad. Do 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 do. It's three nothing win. Okay, cool. I got a fifth phone. What's up? Yeah. Who would need? Who literally would need five phones? That's what I want to know. Why would somebody need five phones? I guess on like a trade deadline, maybe you would have more than one phone. But like nobody carries around five cell phones, unless you're like. Evander Kane, and you got bricks like f phones made out of money, then yeah, I guess you would, but you know, <laughs> who would carry around five cell phones at any one time? They're just like, yep, I got five cell phones, whatever, no biggie. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, gamble for Gurnett. Okay, decline. No thanks. Thanks, but no thanks, bro. Um, as well, I want to try and find a date where I can do Hitman again. I want to finish off Hitman live stream. Oh, yeah. Cause I, I'm really liking that Hitman. It's really fun. But I really want to find a good day when I can finish her off. Maybe next week. I don't know what my work schedule is yet, so I'll, fu I'll figure it out. And um, maybe I'll post something on the weekend when I find out. But yeah, I definitely like to do it. Maybe like Monday night or something. Maybe I don't know. Oh, we lost to New Jersey. New Jersey. Bloody hell! I think was that overtime. I, mm, I don't think it was. I'm not quite sure. I forgot if we had three overtime losses or not. New York, New York Rangers. All right, Gabrick, Lindbergh, Lundqvist. Wow, Lundqvist isn't doing very good. Come on, Oilers. We got this. Come on, guys. They're a 500 team. We got to beat them. Yep. Big win. Big win. Big win. Big win. Come on, Ovechkin. Let's see some points here, bro. Get some Gs. Get some Gs. Pull us to victory. There we go. Oh, wow. He got a Hattie. <laughs> he got a Hattie. Nuge got three apples. Nice. That's what I like to see out of my top guys, you know? That's what I like to see. Oh, yeah, I don't know why he, that one guy just went off on me. I was like, dude, I went from 13th in the West to 3rd by trading one player. Like, that's a pretty good trade. <laughs> oh, man, I should try and get Malkin and then just make like an Ovechkin, Malkin, Yakupov line. 7 <laughs> nothing. wow. Could you imagine... An Ovechkin, Malkin, Yakupov line. Just make an all-Russian all-star line. Man, I should do that. Let me know what you guys think. Should I make an all-Russian all-star line? <laughs> just for the heck of it. Maybe I'll do it next year. Just for just for shits and giggles, you know? Like, just make an all-Russian all-star line. Yep. 
All right, Chicago, we got to beat these guys for sure. Yeah, we should we should win. I don't even know who their goalie is. K. Simpson must be a rookie or, or a draft pick that got better, I guess. Yep, come on, guys. Sam Gagne. I must I must have traded him there. Oh, five nothing. Whew. Nice. There we go. This is the Edmonton Oilers that I miss. I was wondering where you guys were, but you know they're finally showing up. Armstrong, Gilbert, and a third for first and Lander. No thanks. Why would you even want my first round pick? It's going to be like last. And that was the other thing people got mad that I traded a first, but it was actually it was Boston's first round pick. So it like they last time I checked like before or at the end of the last video, Boston was still first in the East. So it, like it's not even going to be worth anything. And the draft the draft class for this year isn't even good. Um, like I might I might actually just end up trading my my first round picks for next year first round picks because I mean I I don't really need rookies at this point in the GM mode. Rookies aren't going to be a thing. Like it's not going to really make or break me. Um, I mean we after this year we have three years left, right? So to get a rookie and try and develop him in three years is kind of pointless almost. Like even the rookies I have right now, I just threw them in the lineup because I want them to try and get good after like one or two years. Like. I'm not really expecting them to get good that fast, so um, if this was like a 15-year GM and we just, you know, if you could extend it, maybe, but at this point, I'm just like, you know what, uh, the only good draft picks are like the first couple years, so like to get a guy in the seventh year and throw him in the lineup and, you know, just kind of hope for the best, because it takes a couple, like sometimes it takes players, that, even like, for instance, McKinnon, I drafted him... Yeah, it would have been the second year, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would have been this, like, not the first season. After the first season, I drafted McKinnon. We're already in year seven, so he's been playing for six years, and he's only gotten up to an 81. It's not like I didn't, like, I gave him a year in the AHL to, like, or not the AHL, um, a year in juniors to, like, get better, too. Like, it's not like I didn't try and develop him, and then I brought him up and, like, played him on the first line, and he just didn't get better. He's, like, an 81, and... I've had him for six years, so I don't know, like, he's just kind of been a bust. He was a four-and-a-half star player, too. Like, it's just like, eh. So, yeah, like, you never know what's going to happen with rookies. They might just turn out crap. Like, it's hard to tell. Uh, trade deadline's right there. Okay. So, yeah, I might end up just trading my, my first-round picks for next year first-round picks just because I feel like that would be, like, the best instance, really. Um, there we go. Alright, so it doesn't really matter. So one, two, three, four. And that's the trade deadline. Okay, well I'm gonna stop right there, I guess. So wait, what is that? One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. So yeah, that that's basically my reasoning behind rookies and stuff. Like I really don't need first round picks at this point. Um, basically they're just there to get players if I want to. If I want to just stack up my team and, like, just make an all-star team, I basically could at this point. Like, it's not like – like, I could make three, like, lines of, like, really – you know, like, I could make a third line of mid-80 players if I really wanted to. Oh, that was not a good loss. Um, so, I mean, like, you know, I, I'm not because I have rookies that I want to play, but, like, if I physically wanted to and I, I have all these first-round picks, I could just, like, literally get a bunch of 80 guys. Not sure how good we would do, but, you know, that's basically my reasoning behind, you know, trading the first round pick. Because it was like, it's not a big deal. I was fooling around trying to get Ovechkin. Why did we just lose two straight to LA? That's bad. I was fooling around and I was trying to get Ovechkin and it just was, it wasn't, they, they weren't accepting it. I tried, I tried, I tried, the only second round I pick, had pick was like the very, like the very last second round pick was the one I had. I tried that, which was like basically just like worth just under um what my the, tr the first round pick that i traded it was worth just a little like a smidge less and they wouldn't take that so that's why i was just like you know what whatever i'm not i'm not gonna dick around with it anymore i'm just gonna trade them and see like these are like f like look at these top tens those aren't even like three stars Ugh. like it's almost not even worth oh, okay this guy's four and a half that's not bad i guess but yeah, I don't even know, man. Some of these guys just aren't that great. Yeah, I'd rather go here, QM. 
Oh, what did I did I just discard it? I don't, I actually don't know what I just did. I think I might have a uh, uh, scouting assignment. I think I discarded that. Yeah. Oh, QM forward six weeks. Yeah, I did ignore changes. That's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. Okay, so it's gonna ask me to do my um, trading block and stuff, but. Nice, Ovechkin's got 40 G's. Sick. Trying to get him into the Ovechkin of old. The old time Ovechkin. We're re sculpting a man into his former self with the young talent we have. <laughs> re sculpting. I like that. That sounds good. The re sculpting of a legend. I wouldn't say he's a legend right now, but, you know, he's a good player. I would actually like to see Vetchkin do pretty well this year, but all right, come on, Phoenix, one last game. Frankie Palace has thirty wins, pretty good, not bad. Come on, guys, Byzantine, he made the All Star game, eh? Wow, they're doing pretty good. This is a big game for us. We're we're two points ahead of them right now. Come on, Oilers. Oh, we lost. Trading block. Was that an OT loss or was that straight up? I don't even know. Uh, trade block. We don't need defensemen. We don't need depth forwards. What do we... We don't even need any of this crap. For, okay, I want first round picks. I don't know why it always changes that. First rounds. That's just for trading. Uh, do I really need any of these? Let's just put first line forwards. I just want to see what I get offered. And let's put... I don't really need any defense. I'm pretty set on defense right now. Uh, let's try second line forwards. <laughs> uh, trade block. Yeah, sure. Wants, surplus. Uh, look, future first. Yeah, we can get rid of. That's fine. I guess. Um... <laughs> <coughs> we don't really have a surplus of top four. So I'm going to clear that. Yeah, well, I guess we could do that. We have a lot of third round players. Or third line players. Players. Oh, that's why I'm getting all these stupid trades. Are you serious? Gone, Suvan, and Pollock? No. Ugh, you dumb game. No wonder. Uh, do I even want anybody on the trade block, though? I don't know if I do. I guess I can put Morrissey. He's not getting any better. <clears throat> if I can get a first round for him. I mean, I you guys told me to get him, and I tried, and he like literally hasn't gotten any better. And he's been playing first line in the AHL for like... And I put him first line forward, too, because like, I just like... what like He's not getting any better at all. I don't know what his deal is. Marinson. Let's throw him on there. Because he's an 81, he's four stars, and he's, uh, you know, it's a solid depth defenseman. Oh, uh, do we, uh, pit, like, rad we'll throw Radula on there, too. There we go. There we go, looks good. Yep. So did we lose to Phoenix in overtime? No, it was straight up, eh? Oh, that sucks. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. We'll stop here. We'll do it next time. Uh, we are, wow, we're... Three, a four-way tie for first in the West with Phoenix, Detroit, and Columbus. <clears throat> That's crazy. But we have the most wins, I think. Oh, no, they have the most wins. Hmm. I'm not sure how that works. Anyways. <laughs> um, and in the East, Boston, that's the, tr the, 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 the draft pick I traded. They're, like, third in the East, so. Goals and assists. Ovechkin has 41. That's pretty solid. Assists. Um, Nuge has 54, and Yakupov has 47 points. Ovechkin is leading the league with points, 78 points. Man, I'm I'm glad I didn't trade for Ovechkin, right? Oh, man, what a terrible idea. Uh, Nuge has 74 points, and Yakupov has 66. Uh, Yakupov has slowed down a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, wins, Palaz is up there with 30, and he's definitely picked it up. He's got a... 0.928 save percentage and a 2.03 goals against. I'd like to see him get a little bit better, but right now he's not doing too bad. 
But man, that Ovechkin, I'm oh, that was a bad trade. <laughs> I'm just joshing with you guys. But really, I don't know why I was getting so much hate for it because I turned my team around and I'm in first now. And you know, mm. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, we got that. Uh, Yakupov's still over a point a game. Wow, Ovechkin's like way over a point a game. That's crazy. I thought we were like into 70 games almost. Uh, so Yakupov is still point a game. Gaunt slowed down. He's, you know, eight point eight points behind. Doherty's got fifty. Everly is forty eight. Murray thirty five. Pollock thirty three. John Quick has seventeen. Stan Doig has sixteen. They're not doing too bad for rookies on the third line. McKinnon. McKinnon's production's actually upped from. He might actually beat his best year ever. That was that year right there. He had twenty six points. He might. Act he's a plus seven too. Wow. He's actually. He's doing well with these rookies. Man. He's still 23. I mean, there's room for him to go up for sure, but he's playing with a 20-year-old and a 20-year-old. So, um, And, yeah, we looked at the goalie stats. I kind of wanted to see how our team stats are quickly. I haven't looked at them yet, so. Um, yeah, we're tied for first in the league. Well, we, I don't know why we are first. I think, oh, we've played less games. That's why. <coughs> that's why. That makes sense. Yeah, so we played 64 games. Columbus is four games. Like, they have played four more games, and Detroit and Phoenix have played one more game each. So that's why we're first. Goals for, oh, my God, 218. Wow. 3.41 a game. Goals against, yeah, we're last. Uh, we're tied with goals against per game with Detroit. Power play goals, power play percentage, 21.2. We're just third. Uh, PK, we're at 85.8. Fifth, that's pretty good still. Home record 19 10 and 2, away record 23 9 and 1, last 10 7 and 3. That's pretty good. So we're doing good. We're at 42 19 and 3. We're uh, first place in the league again. Um, we do have a game in hand, so that's obviously good. And we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching, guys.